In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to set up an Amazon EC2 instance to run a Windows 10 virtual machine in the cloud. So the first thing you need to do is go to console.aws.amazon.com and then go to EC2 in the dashboard once you've logged in. If you don't see that just type it in at the top and then click on EC2. From there click on instances on the left and then go to launch instances at the top corner and then give the instance a name so I'll call this one Windows and then in the menu just below that click on the Windows option and then in the drop down you can choose any of the Windows versions that say free tier eligible so that it doesn't charge you uh, Windows Server 2022 is basically Windows 10 just more designed for running it as a server but you don't have to use it as a server. So if you just click on that one, for example, and then scroll down to instance type, and also make sure that that is set to free tier eligible. Um, and then under key pair, you need to click on create new key pair. And then under the name of it, just type in whatever you want. So I'll just call that Windows as well, or Windows machine. And then click on create key pair that'll download a file to your machine which we'll need shortly and then you can also scroll down and change some of the other settings like who you want to allow to connect to the machine so we're going to be using rdp to connect to it so you can change that whether you want it to be only from your ip or from anywhere so i'll set mine as anywhere just for testing though i don't recommend that and then there's some other options as well but you shouldn't need to change anything so just click on launch instance And then click on view all instances and you'll see here that it's pending so it's currently booting up and creating the machine so once it's booted up if you click on the instance id just next to it on the instances page and then click on connect at the top right you'll see the option for rdp client so just download the remote desktop file and then you can actually open that in the rdp app on a mac which i do have installed so if you open that up or you can just open it on windows it's built in so once you've got that file, just open it in Remote Desktop. It'll then ask you for the Windows password, which you can get from the AWS console by clicking Get Password. And then you'll need to upload the private key, which was downloaded to your machine when you created the key pair earlier. And then decrypt password. It'll give you the password there. Just copy that, paste it into RDP. Continue. And it should connect straight to that cloud PC instantly so as you can see we've now got a fully working windows cloud pc which we can connect to from anywhere so i'm just going to exit out of this session and inside of rdp whether this be on windows or mac os it's going to ask you the host name or ip address if you don't want to open the file every time so if you go back to the instance in aws You'll see the public IP address here and also the public domain address as well. So you can actually type either of those in and it will let you connect. But if you don't want to remember that full IP address or the full DNS name, you can just set up a DNS record on your own domain if you've got one and point it to that. And then it means you'll only have to remember your domain. So in my case, I'm just going to open up the Cloudflare dashboard because my domain is with Cloudflare. And once you've opened up the DNS page, I'm just going to click on Add Record, turn off the proxy, leave it as A, and then copy the public IPv4 address, paste that in into there, and then just give it a name. So I'm going to call it EC2, just so I know what it is. And then if I go back into RDP and type in ec2.ridercraigie.com, and try and connect to that you'll see it lets me log in and it picks up that there's a pc there so that's how to get it working on your own domain as well so pretty simple that's how to get a cloud pc working on aws for free and connect to it with your own domain name thanks for watching